Hey, this is Reed with Kaizen Speed, and uh, I'm going to show you the difference between an off the shelf 89mm H22 piston and Kaizen Speed's HD 89mm H22 piston. When you call and order a forged piston, what's on the shelf generally is a full skirt design like you see here. This piston comes with a standard wrist pin and is, in my opinion, good for about 700 horsepower, give or take. Now I've made personally a thousand horsepower with this piston, but I noticed that the skirt actually collapsed ever so slightly. Now you can't see it, but when I measured it, this piston had collapsed about three and a half thousandths. In extreme cases, I actually haven't seen this with Wiseco, but I've seen this with other brands. I've actually seen cracks here. In that instance, I've been lucky enough to inspect it before it became catastrophic. Long story short, this is a really strong design. This just isn't for massive abuse. Um, because like I said, eventually this full skirt design, it's got a little bit of give here. Now, this piston is absolutely unbreakable. Uh, we run 45 plus PSI with this piston, and when I tear this engine down to inspect it, this skirt hasn't collapsed. So this piston has struts between the skirt and the pin boss. And you'll see this is a half skirt design, partial skirt, and this is a full skirt. Now, this strutted skirt design has less give here. When you call and order a set of pistons through our website or anywhere, this piston comes standard with an HD wrist pin. This pin compared to an off-the-shelf wrist pin. So here's a bent wrist pin. It's kind of hard to determine if you have a bent wrist pin, but uh, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to identify a bent pin. First off, you'll get resistance as you try to install the pin in the pin bore. So here you can hear an audible thunk as we try to install the pin. And as you go across the piston in the pin bore, it, you get a lot of resistance. So even to get it back out, it's difficult. So that's that's your first indication that you have a bent pin. But the next thing is, maybe it's the piston. A way to eliminate that is put a little reference mark on your wrist pin there, and there you'll see an air gap at the top. Now rotate the pin at 180, and now that air gap's gone. Uh, and if you can shine a light in here, and if, you could, if the camera could see, you'd see that the air gap is on the other side. So now we grab a new wrist pin and it slides freely across the pin bore very easily so you know it's the pin